Hi guys, and after the session got, got postponed like just yesterday and things, today I'm going to be doing like my cape and sell it. It's as simple as this, I either want to keep the player or sell the player. So let's get started. John McLaughlin, I would like to say stay even though I don't think he will, because Blackburn's after him. But, because the race Mike has won the best cape system in the league, if not the best. It is absolutely ridiculous with that his contract or this far, but we'll see. Lee Bird, no matter if McLaughlin goes or stays, I will be happy to have Bird as number two next season. So, because so, he's a decent and I think he's capable as well as number two, two if you get what I mean. So, and he'll do a job if, see if McLaughlin or another number one goal keep comes in and get into the three air. Luke 9 of course I would like to say him stay because because he's probably one of the most like um lad he's a lad that gives one hundred percent and cares and he can do a decent job no matter what position he plays in. So yeah. Colin McLaughlin, he is the first player who I'm going to put in cell because because he is an absolute like I've saw him like God knows 10, 15 times this season, and I thought it was absolutely terrible in, like, obviously 90% of the game. So, so, and as well, we need a right back for next season because we don't want to keep playing Luke 09 there, who's a centre midfielder. So, yeah, Tom Flanagan, this might surprise you, but I would like to say Tom Flanagan stay. The reason why, because he, under Parkinson, he got better performances out of Flanagan. When we played three at the back, him, Willison, and Wright, he, he actually looked a good league one centre back and looked like nothing was going to get past him and he had a few good games. Um, if he does stay, stay, because I know he's out of contract, he wouldn't start next season, but I reckon he would be a good player to come off the bench but if like I'm feeling if someone gets him to spend it because he can also play right back and left back. So yeah, Jordan Willis, the one of the easiest to send on this list. Jordan will need to stay at Sunderland and he could be captain next season because he is just being amazing this season. His peers helped him, but but yeah, yeah, he's being our signing this season and all that. So he should be to stay at Sunderland and should turn down our bid we get them. So yeah, Joel Lynch, he will go for me because he's on the wrong side of 30. I think he's 33 now and I think we can get better centre ops like him to like fill the player spot but yeah Ali Turk I would sell because I just don't think he's good enough I remember saying um, ever since Bill Wright got in then he came in in the middle of that defence way of being a different like defence league and goals defend and bad and I think half of it is because of Turk. so yeah Billy Wright if we can get him on a free time for what I think we can, I will keep Bailey Wright for next season because I think Bailey Wright um, is the best centre back in this league with John Willis, if you get my mean. So yeah, then the um, I will keep. And was he scored his first goal in January against, against Wickham. He, he didn't, he hasn't had a good season since then. But he's young and we need somebody to guide him if you get what I mean. I'm pretty much saying this is what you're doing well. This is what you like need need to do like better. Um yes. George Dobson. I would keep because in my opinion he is being underrated player of the season. Because because he doesn't get enough credit what he deserves. He, um, I think at times people forget what he actually does. He does the dirty work and at times I actually think he was like making power look good and I believe he's 22 so again he can absolutely like be a part part of like hopefully next season in League One and um, maybe a promotion like and maybe when we get back in the Champions then he can help us to consolidate and maybe even go one step further. So yeah, just going, I will get rid because I didn't really say much of him like before the like shut down on the season. But I weren't impressed when I did. I remember that Bristol Wolves game, he just looked terrible. So yeah, so I will get rid. Max Power, 
Um, this was the hardest one on the list for me, but I will keep Powers. He would not be captain next season, but I will keep him because he, he's been here and done it. I think he's won League 1 for his hand for Wigan, so he clearly isn't a bad player for this league, but but he hasn't shown his qualities here. As we all know, he can score a banger now and then. But he needs to be more consistent because sometimes he's just there for the sake of being there. So yeah, Grant Ledbetter. This is the only one I'm going to contradict myself. And um, I will keep Grant Ledbetter on as a coach next season because I believe his playing days in League One is over. But as a coach, I believe he can be like a good like help around the club. Maybe not as a coach, an ambassador or something. But. I will keep him around the club, but not as playing that claim. Elliot M. Bolton. Um, um, this season was meant to be his breakthrough season. Unfortunately, he got injured pretty early on. On um, I believe the lad has potential and has ability. So I would like to see him steer and get given a fair run in the team next season. Like, because I believe he could be one of our star players in League One next season. And for him, it might be better that we stay in League One. So yeah, Duncan Watmore, I would get or get rid of at the end of his contract. Because he's on too much money a week for this division. Um, he doesn't even offer that much. He doesn't even get ahead of Goats and Maguire, and I think he never even got ahead of Semenu when he played. Like, he would rather go with Semenu than what more. So, so it's a pretty much a waste of like 20 grand a week where you could get like two or three mint league one players for the league. Like, so yeah, Lyndon Goats. Of course, I would keep Goats because, because he is being one of the best players this season. You could argue he he turned everything around, around like when. When he like, like came back from injury, um, he scored ten goals, one assist. The assist may be working for next season, but, but yes, but we need to work on his game intelligence because he can produce the moment of magic. But he needs to work on his con consistency. So yeah, Chris Maguire again, I would keep because he again is one of our best players. Um, he showed at the time this season. I think he was the only person to have double. Goals and assists in the league. What sort? That is a quality player for this league. Um, but again, like John McLaughlin, why is his contract being allowed to let so far? Lucky with Chris McGuire, we've got a one year clause, so that should be fine. Antoine Semenyo, I personally will keep him, but I don't think he'll stay. So for that one, just to make it realistic, I'm going to put him in cell, even though. I would like want him to stay. Ian McGee, this is a hard one because obviously he's had one longer child. Although I believe like he has the technical ability to be like one of the best players in the league on what he was last season. Um if he's not willing to work with anyone or anything, I would sell him what that's what I do. But if he comes back a different attitude, wanting to try his best, I would keep him but I'm gonna put him in the cell category though. Kyle Lafferty, I, I will keep Lafferty because he did more in one game than what White has done, done like for um, um at times he can lose his head, but but yes, I think tactically he's the best three out of us, right? And I believe the only thing that goes against him from not to start next season, it's because he has got more than like ten goals in a season for a long time. I know he's the wrong side of 30, but I believe he can do a job next season in League One as maybe a backup player. So yeah, Will Greg, um, I will get rid of him. Not for just as much as he's sick as it is for ours. Because it just hasn't worked out for him as Sunderland. Um, um, no, one, no one else, he'll go to see if Oxford don't go up. He'll go and ban the goals in, but I'll be... Um, I'll, be more than happy to say Greg goes if it means he gets his career back. Whether he the injuries have caught up with him or or something just weren't the right club for him, I'll never know. And then Charlie White I'll get rid as well because he in um it's a nice bloke of what he is. He is just not good enough. He's got five goals and if your top striker if your top scoring striker's got five goals, 
you've got no chance of promoting and the new striker has to be very high on this going into next season in League One. So yeah. So I'm going to run through the list. Um my cape I will keep John McLaughlin Liebers, Luke O Nine, Tom Flanagan, Jordan Willard, Bailey Wright, Denver Hume, George Dobson, Max Power, Grant Lepper as a coach or something, Elliot Embleton, Lyndon Gooch, Chris Maguire and Carl Lafferty. Players I would sell sell is co- or let go at the end of their contract. Colin McLaughlin, Joel Lynn, Ali Mozturk, Josh Scott, Duncan Watmore, Ant Juan Semenuel, Ian McGady, Charlie White and Will Grigg. So if you're wondering what I would do with players like Jack Baldwin, I would Elliot M I mean Jack Baldwin, Ethan Robson, um Declan Jong and um Barley Mumba. Um Barley Mumba I would keep because I believe he's got a good future and I believe he could be in around the first team next season. Um, Jack Baldwin, I will get rid because at the end of his contract because I just don't think he's good enough. Um, Declan Jong, he just hasn't like played enough or so and um, and you know, we want competition for Denver Hume, so if he was just going to come and be back up, there was no point and I will get rid. And Ethan Robson, again, I will get rid, rid at the end of his contract because he is like... Not good enough, and I'm sure people think he's younger than what he actually is. He's nearly twenty four now, and he still hasn't like broke into a League One team. And I think he won't break into it next season because I just think we've got better players at the club, and I think we'll be looking to maybe bring a midfielder or two in next season. So yeah, so so like I'll be back when the like the team list comes out or something like relevant. If you get what I mean. So yeah, so like, subscribe, view, comment, and say. Yeah.